multiple rounds and Megami coming into play eventually. 100%. I don't think Yuji's winning the first round. I think Yuji is going to end up just getting stronger and stronger and get Sukuna's intrigue. Wouldn't it make more sense for Gege to switch music and Jaku while all this is going on? I think that is going to happen. Oh yeah, right, they have been in Shibuya, but I mean like a second time. A lot of people want them to meet again and Yuji to be and Kenjaku to be Yuji's final antagonist because of the entire oh Kenjaku is Yuji's mom thing. But my issue has always been with that of Yuji doesn't care at all about Kenjaku. He's never been focused on Kenjaku. His main focus has always been on Sakuna. Yo, sub dynamic weeb. Sakuna will bleed in his <laughs> no. No. When it makes more Boy, stream. Of course, I always stream. I mean, I don't always stream, but I stream when I stream, whenever I feel like it. Sakuna sweeps GG. Akari might have to die for Yuji to get that power up. Maybe Akari gets the jackpot, but transfers the effect to Yuji. I really hope that happens. Because, like, that is something I've always wanted to see possible. Like, that's the main way I can see upgrading Hikari's domain. The ability to give jackpot to several other people. Especially with Sakuna showing the ability to make the sure hit only specifically target some things. And not actually target everything within the domain. So it'll be really cool if Akari figured out a way to make jackpot just target everyone else. Including himself. And just make them all go on that entire cursed energy high state. But, like, there's no proof that he can't do this, but there's no reason that he shouldn't be able to do this, especially because now he knows that that's something possible to do, and Hikari is, like, the domain manipulator, as we all know, with his entire, I'm gonna take this domain to the water, and I'm gonna drop the Kashimo into the water and let him soak himself out of curse energy by shocking the water. Sakuna has Kenny as his lawyer. <laughs> Kenny just comes in out of nowhere and decides, all right, all right, I'm here now to defend Sakuna in court. I can't let him die. You see, the one who actually killed Gojo was not Sakuna. You see, my client, my honor, Sakuna decided, see, Gojo decided to move on in peace himself. You see, Gojo didn't act, Gojo just ended himself. It wasn't actually Sakuna who ended him because Gojo decided not to heal himself. Therefore, Gojo is responsible for the death of Gojo. <laughs> I'm not reading that <laughs> I personally want Yuji to have something related to Kenjaku in the final saga, personally, but I want Yuji to be the main one for Kenny. Or, is that Yuda? I cannot tell. The heart makes- oh, Yuda? Agreed. I think Yuda is just more set up to go after Kenny at my point, at this point. A bit of a selfish request, but can you give us a few reasons to get hype for JJK? I've been thinking of dropping the series since my favorite characters all- well, I mean, if those are your favorite characters, I'm gonna be honest with you, I don't really know what to say. Like, if you are getting unhyped because your favorite characters are gone, I mean, eh. Like, I have a lot more investments in characters like Yuji up to this point, but that's just me. <laughs> Gojo challenged me, I swear. <laughs> look, look, Sakuna was just defending himself. Sakuna, Gojo was the one who declared the battle. Gojo was the one who did the first move. This is all self-defense. Sakuna did not start the battle. It was Gojo who launched the halt. Wait, you could actually use this as an argument. That Sakuna was just defending himself. Because Gojo was the one who launched the first blow. It was Gojo who triggered the altercate. Why would this actually work? Wait, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes, over time. You've given me the idea on how Gojo can... Or how Sakuna can argue around this. Did Maki kidnap Gojo with Toji, curse spirits, and deliver him to Shoko to hear about where the last singer is? No. I honestly think Gojo is gone. It's love, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> it's love, I swear. But here's the thing, right? I think Gojo's soul has genuinely moved on and is, like, dead in peace now. It's always been more so a matter of if Gojo can come back, he wouldn't come back. Because, like, he's in peace in the afterlife. He's got his faith in all of his students. And, yeah, he's just, he's died satisfied. He doesn't need to come back. It's love, I swear, and Maharaga learning Japanese as we speak. <laughs> Japanese law as we speak. Maharaga getting that law firm. He's in that law degree, you know? He's gonna get that law firm. He's gonna come back wearing the suit and tie, getting ready. He won't die, you know? He's so excited. <laughs> Maharaga's got this. <laughs> Lawyer up, boys. Sup, hobby? How you doing, man? <laughs> You see, we have to come up with all of the best arguments for Sakuna because there are actually some arguments you could really make. Like, if they were to ask if Sakuna killed Gojo, Sakuna really could give the argument that this was self-defense and not first-degree murder. 
because he, it was Gojo who attacked and not Sakuna. It was Gojo who did the first move, and that might actually screw him over, because Gojo was the one who started the fight. Can't believe those bums Ichiji Utahime and even my man Gaku Ganji watched the poor nameless fish Gojo get turned into sushi without lifting. Okay, I need to say this. You have the weirdest people you are fans of. I have never once seen a Gaku Ganji fan in my life, and I'm now inclined to believe you don't exist as a person. I'm not gonna lie. Sakuna saw Goodman stored in the black box. Oh no. Sakuna would be like, to be fair, it's Gojo's fault I'm here to begin. You see, that's actually kind of true though. But Gojo said he isn't satisfied. Ghetto said, if you are satisfied, then it's fine with me. And then Gojo asked, satisfied, like he isn't satisfied. No, the thing is. Gojo said that he felt bad that Sakuna wasn't satisfied. He was satisfied. It was just he felt bad because Sakuna couldn't be satisfied because he couldn't go all out against someone and just throw everything he had in an opponent. That was why Gojo felt bad. I might be misremembering though. I will genu I'm just going to go genu check the chapter real quick because I think that's what the conversation was, but I do not remember. Um, okay, let me just... I'll check that later, actually. Sakuna, if Gojo killed that Yuji brat, what was he supposed to do? So I wouldn't have been here. <laughs> you see, that's exactly the thing. Yeah, Gojo broke the laws first. He's just the one suffering. I can see the actual argument that Sakuna makes is basically... Yeah. Okay, so I think I found the part you're reading at. It's more so the thing of... Gojo would have been actually feeling satisfied... If Ghetto was there with him to cheer him on. That was the reason he wasn't satisfied. Gege chose not to have powerful American soldiers because the gun devil was already in someone else's manga. <laughs> yeah, for Gojo, I believe it's best if he stays dead. Personally, and this is coming from someone who has Gojo as their favorite character in JJK. I definitely see Gege having Gojo in Yuji and Yuta Conscious. 100%. Here's my other thing, though, and I want to be honest with you guys. Gojo was like my third favorite character. He is easily top five for me. Gakuganji legit went against decades of his own conditioning and views by keeping the cursed corpse technique hidden from higher ups for the sake of his new gen. Given pro I mean, no, don't get me wrong. I am giving Gakuganji props. All I am saying is you are the first person I've ever seen on the planet that is a Gakuganji fan. That is all I am saying. Sakuna attacked first in chapter two. Gojo was continuing his self-defense. <laughs> He's just bringing it all in all the way from back then. Gojo coming back with the pride laser. Oh no, no ultimate attack pride laser. We all know Sakuna gonna deny even being there since we all know Mikami killed Gojo in 4K. <laughs> Why do you think Monkey didn't rock up with Higuruma and Yuji? Because she would do way better than Yuji hand to hand with no cursed energy. What is going on? Here is the thing. We do not know how much stronger the characters have gotten over the time skip or what they have access to. Because remember, a month of time has passed. Yuji right now could be stronger than Maki for all we know. Or more importantly, and this is what I think is more accurate, it's more likely that Maki went with Yuta to go fight Kenjaku. That is what I think is currently happening. Sakuna explained he cut space, not Gojo himself. Therefore, maybe he can come back as a cursed spirit like me. No. Because, no. Just, just no. <laughs> Boo, the Donzo XP did the bare minimum. Boo. <laughs> Hobby, you're great. Hobby, you're, this is why you're great. <laughs> Maki has the 50 cal locked and loaded from the same tower Gojo shot the hollow purple. <laughs> Gotta go sending love to the stream. Live to the stream. Ah, uh, rip. See you, man. See you later, man. Hope you have a good day of whatever you're doing. Yuri is stronger than Yuta, Maki, and Hikari. Remember this. Yep. And I wouldn't be surprised if he was, especially because Yuji just got a massive, massive rage amp. Or, like, he really should have, because he's also responsible for this in a weird way. But, yeah, like, he's not as responsible, but he is technically responsible. Since Gojo died filled with happiness, maybe he'll awaken and be the first blessed spirit. No. No. I don't think so. I think Gojo is literally just going to get reincarnated. I think that if they actually ever wanted to create a sequel series, it's going about teaching the reincarnation and reborn Gojo. That is what I think, or at least I see possible. Sakuna, bro, I was just chilling in limbo, but they kidnapped me talking about how I have to fight this someone named Gojo. <laughs> yes, Sakuna in court. We have to come up with all of the arguments for Sakuna because there are ways. We will find the ways around this. We will find the way so Judge Man doesn't get the immortal sword. Come on, everybody. Come up with your best arguments. And then we also, oh, we have 51 people here. Nice. I'm happy to see you all here. Hope you all are enjoying the stream today. 
look, Sakuna just has to have some way out. Because Sakuna, I just genuinely don't think Higuruma is going to land a kill. I think Higuruma's only purpose is going to be removing Sakuna's curse technique for a bit. And then, more importantly, giving us the Sakuna lore we've all been needing and wanting so badly. Because the Sakuna lore is coming. Y'all can feel it. Y'all can smell it. Y'all know it. And it's going to be some great, great lore. Your Honor, I was being silly. <laughs> Your Honor, it was not me who killed Gojo Satsuru. It was space and the universe who killed Gojo Satsuru. Gojo died because he was breathing too hard and ended up cutting himself in half for breathing. It was not me who killed them. I just to cut space itself. Not Gojo. It was a black hole that spawned out of nowhere that killed him. Is Yuji gonna take over Gojo's body and get the six size and limitless? <laughs>